How's it flying, guys? This is Lance Corporal Hawk 30. And I know it's been a couple weeks. Um, at the time I'm recording, it is almost midnight on Friday, May 10th. So it's about to be Saturday, May 11th. Now, at the time of recording, in the morning, I'm going to be releasing a classic SMG4 video. You get it's this episode has got to. This video is going to have to go to the copyright page, so you guys will already know about this by the time this video uh, is able to be publicized publicly. Rep repetitive in the word slants. Not a good start. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, this will be a few days after the fact. So yeah, the SMG4 videos are going to be happening regularly. And uh, I may be doing something kind of special tomorrow as well. But... By the time you're watching this video, that will have all happened in the past. Anyways, though, uh, no wasting time. This is My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 9, Episode 5, The Point of No Return. Now, I've made it a point eh, this season not to let myself get spoiled on anything. Like, I'm not even looking up descriptions for the videos to the best of my ability. Now, the occasional thing may sneak in, like when Dr. Wolf does reviews of the episodes, and they may... Because I, I was spoiled on a key thing that happened for the first season because of Dr. Wolf's video, and I wish I wasn't, and I wish I wish he'd have picked a better th a different thumbnail than what he went with, but say la vie. Anyways, uh, yeah. So what I gather in this... The Point of No Return has something to do with Twilight and... It's a Twilight episode, and I believe it has something to do with a book she forgot to return or something. Anyways, we'll see. Also, uh, I, got a, I got a Rainbow Dash finally. So, yeah. Hi, Rainbow, Pinky, and Flutter today. And I still have my Twilight right here. Uh, I wish I had a plush, but, you know, we'll, we'll see one day. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to procrastinate anymore. Let's just get ahead into this video. Remember, support Hasbro, support the official release, and let's go. Derpy! What was that? Something screwed with that bit of the episode. Ooh. Are you all right? You okay, Derps? She speaks. I won't miss you, Derpy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that's nice. Aww. <laughs> did she say she won? I know what you did, writers. Don't think you can sneak that one past me. Oh boy, I I heard what you said, and I love Snarky Spike. Can I say that? Can we get more Snarky Spike? Let's continue. School throws. Let's go Shut up, train. Extra, extra credit, because of course Twilight. Smash Fortune. Because, of course, we'd have a Twilight freakout over that. Um. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be depressed for a couple days 
when we get to the last episode of this season. Oh, I'm dreading it. But, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get a slightly dip, like, a newer look to the intro. But, at the very least, they did change it up starting last season, so. But, yeah, let's... Had. So that's been like, what? Well, for us, it's been nine years. Twilight. Twy. Oh, as someone who used to visit, my, frequent my own school libraries, I always got things turned in on time. Oh, oh girl, come on. Yes. You may want to do something. Yeah. You may want to do something about the box on your front doorstep there. Oh, no. She's going to be pissed. You meant you had Yes. Thank you, Spike. It's it, it can't be that simple. We've got what? Seventeen minutes left of runtime? It is not gonna be that simple. It's not gonna be I saw that droopy clock. Not no more. Well, no problem at all. In fact, it happens all the time. 
Let's see. Accidents we happen. No. You kidding me? Accidents. Do you know the word? Not for that reason, Spike. Oh, you mean to find the first folio. Yeah. Can we at least get a cake <laughs> Hey! Tell me, Miss Beauty Lane, where are you? Go back! Twilight, we tried it to three other restaurants already. And my late finds are already up another 26 more bits. Gee. <laughs> the rate goes up that high? is gonna flip her lid. No, she's not. Spike, what are you? That's why you only order spicy cake and cake. Twilight, what's wrong? Rusty Pages isn't working at the library anymore because I didn't return that book. Spike, I think I got her fired. Oh, Spike, I'm so sorry. Of course, you got the one with his nose in there. Okay. Or a minuet. I doubt it. Didn't you see the sign? No sales ponies. Which is not a sales pony. How about a princess? Mom or grandma? She moved to silver something. Shoal, sea, surfer, whatever. When you find her, oh. give her this. It's been stacking up for years. And tell her to change her address. Don't be a dick, dude. Although I get your beef with the, sa the sales pitchers. Let me guess. Yeah. She moved from there too, didn't she? Okay, up. Uh, 
Hello. Diamond miner. Oh. Why do you expect your student? Oh, okay. okay, bingo. Music stopped. This is it. Yeah. It's the last silver spot on the map we haven't looked. Uh huh. <clears throat> retirement home, I'm guessing. Well, yup, retirement. This place is terrible, I know. There's not a single bookshop in sight. Oh, you kidding me? Excuse me. Yes. How may I help you? Do you know a resident named Jesse Pages? Yes. Oh, yes. Her apartment is in the next complex, ground floor. Ground floor. Okay. You had the few who recognized her, but my carelessness sent her here when she could be happily surrounded by millions of wonderful smelling books. You realize I'd like to see a Euclid, right? Back on up. There we go. There she is. Here we go. Is she out right now? I'm assuming that could be it. She's bound to be back soon. Maybe we should just wait here. No, we have to finish now. Ah! We can find her. Sorry to interrupt your plan air thinking, but we're looking for Jesse Pages. Have you seen her? Sure, hey. Again, oh. And there's her band practice later. Thank you. Sounds like she does it all, don't she? Dusty sounds like a fun, busy pony. Oh, she's just filling her days with distractions to cover the pain of losing the best job ever. But not for long. Yeah, I'm with Spike. Yeah. You're overthinking this one, Twy. You, you just missed her. And... Oh, Literally just missed her. Ooh. Nope. Don't let yourself get that. Don't let yourself ha have that happen to you. Or that. Oh, there she is. And energetic. No, dear. Here's cake five, everybody. Oh, Twilight Sparkle, my stars. Okay. It's wonderful to see you. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over Equestria for you. I need to tell you something. Well, you brought my mail. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, we did. Yeah, and. Oh boy. Uh. Okay, volume control. I don't understand. If Dusty 
pages won't go back to Canterlot Library and explain everything, then she won't be able to get her job back. Even worse, her record will remain imperfect. And yours will, too? Well, yeah, but that doesn't matter anymore. Really? Well, maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs> you, you... Oh, what do I owe now? Oh, boy. You don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Helpful Spike is helpful. Okie dokie. Hey everybody, we coming? In pieces. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, good teleporting. Stop! We just want to talk to Dusty Seed just for a moment. Please come out! Ew. Next time, you should rent here. We're not actually here for the game. I was hoping you'd give me another chance to talk to you about the library book. <sighs> this really means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know I ruined your life by not returning my book on time. And I will do anything I can to make Explain it up. Explain what I happened. Never take a book out of the library again. It does what it takes. <gasps> that is not the reaction you expected. That's a tall order, Twilight! I don't believe you, Purple Smart. I don't believe you when you say that. You are too addicted to books. Heck, I was a one of those. I My hangout for a lot of free time in school was in the library. Even in elementary school, I went loved going to the library. I know that is a lie. Um, continue. Well, at least she's being nice about it right now. I spent hiding away in that library, trying to be perfect. Your book never came in. I felt something exhilarating. What was it? Oh. Freedom. From books? From perfection. I was too stubborn to know when to call it quits. It took your mistake to make me realize ah. that I wasn't living the life I wanted. You mean uh. you were fired? You left the library because you wanted to? Twilight, your late book was the best thing that ever happened to me. Now I'm not afraid to try things I might fail at. Huh. In fact, sometimes messing up teaches me more than getting it right. You're sure you That's not a bad lesson. That's irony. That's ironic, right there. Uh oh. Spike's face. Spike's face. You want me to reshelve this for you? No. It's an old edition. We've already replaced it with a new copy. Okay. In that case, can we keep it? It might be a good reminder to have around. 
<laughs> hmm. Okay, see? I liked that. I liked the way that the message was phrased there. It was very interesting. Okay. Oh, the dee 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 dee. Wow, Tabitha St. Germain, you voiced a lot of a lot of characters in this one. You were first folio librarian pony, pony customer, and muff muffins. Derpy, you were derpy. Okay, so who wrote the story? Who was the writer for the story? Wait a minute. Who wrote? Let's see. Voice director Terry Klassen, storyboard supervisor. Who wrote the? Wait, did we seriously not see who wrote the story? Google, my friend. Hello, Google, my old friend. You better tell me info again. The season nine episode. Five. Writer. I want to know who wrote this one. Because I actually thought this was a... This was a good episode. But I'll get, I'll get to more on that when I find out who wrote it. Um. Who wrote... I want to know who wrote this one. Dag Yum Friggin Ugh. Oh well, I may not find out till afterwards, but oh boy. Actually, you know what? While I'm looking for it in the intro credits I'll be I've got this sucker on mute. Okay, I'll just let it kind of play while I'm trying to get my thoughts up. Okay, I liked A. Starting off, Derpy has a voice again. Love that. I love that we're getting Derpy back. And not, not just as a background influence, but as... And it, like, with a voice. I love... I like the way Tabitha, Tabitha St. Germain did the voice. Um... And, yeah. So, okay, written by Gillian M. Barrow. Okay. Jeesh. Okay, so. Jeez, that took long enough. Anyways, uh, yeah, back to the actual review. I thought this was a good episode. It had a very interesting story. I mean, not just the story. Interesting message at the end. I really liked the way that they portrayed the message. Perfection is something that's... It's going to escape us. It doesn't matter how often we turn out good things. There are going to be things that we either mess up or don't go our way. And then sometimes that can lead to new opportunity. And how f you shouldn't be afraid of failure. Because that failure may motivate you to go out and do more. I like that. That is a good message. Especially if anyone's been feeling down... About anything like, uh, I didn't get this. That's fine. There's plenty of other opportunity out there. You don't have to stick to any single one thing. And that's a beautiful message to deliver. I like that. I love the comedy in this. I love the stressed out why. <laughs> and I loved the snarky, helpful Spike. Love that. And I'm, we got to see Moon Dancer again. That was a real treat. And just seeing the interaction between Twilight and uh, Dusty Pages was really nice. I like Dusty Pages. She may not get a return, 
But if the, if she is just a one-off character, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that either. Because I thought, you know, she's doing a lot in her old age. There's a lot of people in real life, they don't get to do that at all. But then you hear about, like, 90-year-old people who go out and go skydiving. Like, I met this man who has, sin who has since passed away, unfortunately. But he used to be a rodeo rider. He would ride the bulls. And the last time that he rode a bull, he was 80 years old. He almost made the full eight seconds, too. But he rode that bull. He lived to be 98 years old, almost 99. And his original hopes were to ride a bull one last time when he turned 100. That is that is something that most people can't even say that they would attempt to do. But you live to be that long, you know. You gotta, sometimes you get a plan of what you want to do. And even if you don't get to it, you, people like that live a full life. And this character, Dusty Pages, she didn't let that thing, she didn't let the imperfection given to her in life by a simple accident stop her. She used that as a gateway into more opportunity than what she was originally letting herself be confined to. I loved that. And the irony of the name of the book. Perfection. And whatnot. <laughs> and impossible. I forget the exact name, but I know it was like it was <laughs> it was good irony. Anyways, I would give this a solid I'm not gonna lie, this is This is a nine out of ten for me. Now that okay, I'm actually thinking on this. I think that for me this is a nine out of ten. It's a really good episode. It's close to a 10, if I'm being honest. At least these are my fir first initial impressions. There's not a whole lot that I... There's not really anything that I really dislike about this episode. So, if I were to watch it a second time, I probably would give it a 9 or a 10. This was a really good episode. So, so far the only dip in the road for this season, for me at least, is kind of uprooted. Not a bad episode, but not up there too. This one was great. And um, up next is episode six. So I'll go ahead and try to react to that too tonight before going to bed. Um, at least get this. At least so I'm ready to watch the next episode. Anyways, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed. Comment uh, where this rates for you guys in the... Uh, and for season nine episodes so far, subscribe if you're new and tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. That way you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise from me. And also go check out my Discord. Link is in the description below. And as always, always support the official creators. Support Hasbro and DHX. They do a lot of work to put into this. And the voice actresses, they do an amazing job. This has been Lance Corporal Hawk 30.